countries uh, under the CDC guidelines. So we did the best we can to sanitize our facilities and make sure that it's a healthy and hostile uh, and good environment for them being safe so that we turn back to the tent. In addition to staying hydrated and taking natural supplements, here are a few of his favorite tools you can use right from home. Uh, so this is called a foam roller, okay? So this is like doing self model fascial release on the muscle fibers. And this is a hyperbole made by Hyper Eyes, one of my favorites. It really does mimic massage through the hands. So it's a vibrating tool here, and you can go and walk into the muscles that are tight and get those knots and those spasms out, especially here on the shoulder. So if you lose any posture throughout the day, if you're watching Netflix for several hours a day, or maybe if you're throwing the ball often, right? Grab mm -hmm. one of these, get into the muscle, get the tension up. Another one is a vibrating massage ball. So there's a bunch of tools that we can use. Dr. Jim says there's something that can compromise your health as much as the virus. The stress alone is, is very, uh, can, can be a killer too. Right? So being stressed about just everything that's going on right now, because if you're in a constant stressed out environment, your immune system shuts down, right? Because that's all your body knows is that stress. I recommend to our patients to be mindful of their stress levels, because uh, that can actually uh, cause a lot of pain as well. Here are a few stretches you can do at home. We definitely want to open up the chest cavity area here, keep our shoulders nice and loose by doing some pec stretches on the floor. You want to hold that for about 25 seconds or so? You're going to bring uh, your right leg over like this, pull your knee to your chest, and that in itself can actually take off a lot of pressure off your low back area. Just like that. How important is it to get adjusted during these times? on posture and stuff like that so um an adjustment will help out greatly with pretty much realigning and recalibrating your whole spine so i recommend at least once a month when it comes to kids working out they say it's pretty simple so the thing is it's just to stay active don't be sitting on your ipad for hours at a time get them up and moving every 10 minutes or so have them stand up do some stretches get them moving do some jumping yeah so simple things that's some good stuff right there remember do not stress out and they say that simply 15 minutes of self-care a day can increase mobility and reduce a lot of the pain. It's Coco Dominguez, a Fox 26 News.